Hi guys, back for another quick vid. Okay, this is part four. We're going to uh, start putting the engine together. Uh, so this is the Zanawa uh, ESP 30.5cc high torque kit you get from DDM Racing. Um, for this kit, that's the code there. And it also comes with a plus two millimeter crank, which is the code there. And uh, yeah, so I've pulled the bottom end out of the 26cc ESP. It's got the OBR crankcase. Uh, I've changed the, the bearings and the seals. They're all done. Cleaned it all up. Just put it in the two-stroke uh, fuel. Let it soak in there, then you clean it up with a brush. Here's a brush there. Then I use a scouring pad as well. Um, so yeah, everything's there, ready to go. Just make sure when you are installing them, uh, your bearings are moving properly and your seals are in properly. Other than that, yeah. And make sure it's all cleaned up on the top end. Get all the gasket stuff off it. Clean up that. It's all clean. You can polish these up as well. A bit of metal polish brings it back to brand new and uh yeah that's it guys I've got my clutch there clutch carrier bell so anyway let's see what's in the box this is what you get there's a gudgeon pin washers In these boxes here. So that'll be your spark plug, CMR7H. Uh, this would be a piston. I can get it out. Very nice. Nice piston. And here's your head cylinder. Really nice work. Yeah, I love these head kits, they're absolutely awesome. So this is the new generation head kit. Uh, I've got the 29cc high torque head kit and this is the 30.5cc uh, new generation. So uh, like I said, I spoke to ESP a while back. He told me to get this kit. So there's your ring, your gasket, everything there to put an engine together. All right, uh, what I'll do is I'll get started putting the... Uh, Back in there for now, and make sure, yeah, when you're doing the bearings, make sure you're doing you use uh two stroke oil. If I didn't mention it, just helps the yeah, bearings go in and the seals much easier. And uh, with the OBR bottom end, use a three bond one, two, one, one to do that. Don't use a gasket, use this stuff. So there's a crank, very nice crank. What does it say there? Plus two millimeter stroke. So it's a CY crank. Very nice. All right, let's start putting this together. Okay, you're gonna do the crank and piston first. Because it's just easy doing it out of the out of the crankcase. Uh, so there you go, your, your pin, your washers, and your gudgeon. I think it's called. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, take note. 
with these spaces, right, you've got a flat side and then you've got a side that drops down. The side that drops down goes towards the middle. It'll sit in there like that. You'll see it, it, it'll sit there properly like that. Get yourself a bit of two stroke oil, oil everything. A little crank. Oil this pin. Just oil the lot. Don't need a lot, just enough to, to oil everything. Now, take note with your crank. The flywheel side, that's with the thread on it. So your piston will go with an arrow facing to the right of the flywheel, which is your exhaust port. So, next step, get your C-clips. Put one C-clip on one side. There's your C-clips. Just try and get the first bit in, like that. There's a bit of camera. And then just make sure you keep pressure on it. And you've got this side here. Just get yourself a small screwdriver. And you're keeping the pressure on, and you want to just push that in. Okay, I've got it in there, and make sure it's all the way inside those grooves. Uh, and what I do is, I use my actual phone. Once I've got it in there, I use my phone and zoom in, uh, just to make sure it's all in there, seated properly. See that? First put this in here. Slide that through your crank, like that. Put your washers on each side, make sure it's the groove side, you can tell which side it goes on because they go on properly and I'll sit there like that. Just put your pin through, just till about there, just put it in like, like so, try and line up the holes push that pin through like that that's all the way in there and just put your other C clip on this side of the piston okay C clips in the other side completely seated in there hopefully you can catch that on camera now we'll put the crank through the crankcase. Okay, got the crank, piston, crankcases. Uh, pretty easy to work out with the OBR, which side is which. It's obviously your clutch side, and that's your flywheel side, because that piece there goes over that, like that. So there's your flywheel side with the thread, so just get a bit of two-stroke oil and rub it on each side and we'll put it together. Next up, get your th three bond, one, two, one, one, and uh, just dab it around both crankcases. So once that's done, just get your thumb and just go around the inside, get any waste off. So that's not on the inside of the engine. Just like that. Same on the other side. Get your thumb and just roll around like that. Okay, we've already got the oil on the crank. Get the flywheel side your thread 
slide it through. Like that. Get your other side. Move the piston out of the way. Slide it through that side. Now you got two pins at the top. So the two pin, there's a pin there and a pin on the other side. Make sure you line them up to get them through the holes properly. And that's it. Squeeze together. Get any excess of the uh, get any of the excess on the round from this side with your thumb. Same with it and just Go like this around they help seal it. And then you put your four this piece here on. Four screws with Loctite and do it up. Okay, turn up the four screws just get a rag and wipe it across again and that's it now you just put the head on okay next you put your piston ring on on the cylinder you see like a little groove that's where you hook your piston ring on so get your piston ring go over the top like so hook that bit into there like that Hook it in. And you just grab it. Hold it. And just, just don't spread your piston apart. Just hold it in that groove and just push out. And then your piston's on. Piston ring is on. Easy. Just move it around, make sure it's right. Done. Now we get a bit of two stroke oil. Put some oil on your piston and get your cylinder. Put a bit of oil on the inside of the cylinder. Not a lot, just enough to lubricate it. Next step is get your gasket. Yeah, make sure you put it on the right way, like so. You'll have like a little little tab, so that that's your exhaust port side. So make sure that tab is facing that way. Now we'll just put the cylinder on. Now, remember your arrow, that's your exhaust port side, which is this side here. Squeeze the piston and put your cylinder over the top, facing exhaust port with the arrow, which is that side. Then you just slide it on, get your gasket. Make sure it's facing the right way. Line up the holes. Slide it down. So that's it guys, that's what it should look like. Choose your four bolts. Bit of blue Loctite. Bolt them down. Now you can use a torque wrench. Uh, I don't. I do it by hand. Um, I just know how far to go, that's all. So I've done it that many times. Now it's, uh, yeah, it's easy to do. Um, it's totally up to you what you want to do. So anyway, I'll put the four bolts in.
So once you've done the four bolts up, just make, give it a spin. Just make sure the piston's going up and down nice and freely, which it is. And you're good to go. So that's how you put an engine together, guys. Uh, not, not too hard. All you got to do is put the flywheel on there. Make sure you use a key. A little metal piece goes on this side here, the little gap. And uh, put your clutch side on. Pretty easy. Keys on. Grab your flywheel. Match it up with that hole there, that gap there, and slide it on. So you get your bolt, put a bit of blue Loctite over the thread, and uh, put your bolt on. Put your bolt in there, straight over the top, and do it up. Turn it over, get your clutch plate, put your clutch plate over the top, get your washer and your bolt. Lock tight, put it on. Now, be careful to not over tighten this bolt because that can snap off very easily. So, just, as long as you get your bleed lock tight up, just do it up a snug tight, it'll, it'll be fine. Spin it, make sure it's right. There's no play in the engine whatsoever. Perfect. Okay, we'll install the clutch now. So I'll take the clutch to the shed and put it together. Just put it in your vice like that and uh, do it up. Easy. Okay, clutch is together. Using the white spring off my old car, uh, my old engine, because yeah, great torque this, this spring. Uh, put these ones on first. So sit there like that and put your flat washers on the other side. Line them up. First, put a bit of Loctite on them. You don't need to, but I do. Why not? Just do them up. Okay, clutch is done. Uh, we'll grab the clutch carrier and bell off the Zenal G320 and put it on here. So that's it, guys. Engine's all complete. Got the 990 carb on, stacker, front carrier. Um, yeah, that's exactly how it should look. I'm missing the little rubber bit at the top there, though, which you'll have to get. Um, I did run into an issue with the uh, clutch housing I did put on. It it was the wrong one, and with the Lossy 5 T2.0, uh, because the diffs ran the other way, it's, the actual engine's got to sit in there, and the brakes are in the way. So the 32cc that comes with the Lossy 5 2.0, that's your clutch housing there, how it's all opened up. So uh, a mate of mine, Sean, he's got a little mill and uh, machined it all out for me. So now it fits perfectly in there. Um, the only problem is the 32cc clutch housing doesn't fit the 30.5. Because uh, the new Zanawa's got a larger crankcase, 
therefore the bolts are further apart. So it's good to know that. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Next video, I'll install the engine and the radio tray. And yeah, we'll get this fired up. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.